1999 to 1998. This is how loved ones of Carter Evans remember him, laughing and having a good time with family, but not knowing just days later he would be murdered. Lakeland police detectives never forgot about this murder, and tonight somebody is finally facing charges. Melissa Marino was live in Polk County at 1103. Now, Melissa, you sat down with his family, who I guess have been waiting for this day for closure for many years. That's right. Good evening, Jen. Imagine waiting 20 years to find out who murdered your loved one. Well, thanks to Lakeland Police, they are getting some answers. That's my daughter. People like to be around him because he was funny. It was a granddaddy, Carly. Carter Evans had just become a grandpa and had so much to look forward to. That's him seeing me holding my newborn baby. This home video of him laughing with his stepson, Ernest, is one of the last times he would be seen alive. And I love him truly dearly, and I miss him right now. I don't have but one videotape of him, and once a year on his birthday, and I only pull that tape out and watch it. For nearly 20 years, Ernest has searched for answers. Who took away the man he called dad? I feel chipped a big time. In 1998, Evans was robbed and gunned down as he sat outside an apartment on Magnolia Street in Lakeland. We did not know these people at all. Lakeland police detectives never gave up. And they were able to, again, look at some things with a different set of eyes, the evidence, the facts of the case. And that persistence paid off. Investigators indicted this man, Patrick Chambers, for the robbery and murder of Carter Evans. Nearly two decades later, his family is finally getting the news they've been waiting for. Oh, a big relief. Like, I just felt like I can breathe again. And although nothing will bring him back, now they can finally <laughs> feel at peace. And I looked at it at the sky yesterday and I just said something to him and, and I haven't been looking up since it happened. Now I can look up. Well, the suspect, Patrick Chambers, is facing first-degree murder and other charges. Jen? Melissa, do we know, was that suspect still living in Lakeland? So he was actually already in state prison serving a 32-year sentence on unrelated charges. Jen? All right. Melissa Marino, live in Polk County. Thank